What's up everyone, this is JR Production X, and today we have a comparison between the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone 5S. So let's get started. In my left hand, this is the prototype iPhone 6. This is not the real deal. I will be getting my hands on with the iPhone 6 when it's announced by Apple. But for now, we're just going to do a hardware between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S. I will run a software test and speed test comparing the iPhone 6 prototype against the iPhone 5S. But the iPhone 6 is running an Android with an iOS skin on it and it's very laggy and it's not even close to being the real iOS 6 so today we're just going to be looking at the hardware first thing we're going to go over which is definitely the biggest and easiest difference is going to be the screen size so we're just going to turn these off for now and now we have a close up of the screens I'm lining up the screens and you can tell how much difference in uh, size with the new 4.7 inch that's supposed to be released by Apple you can really tell how much more real estate you're going to have on the phone with the difference in real estate, this is going to be great, so you can do more on the app, you don't have to scroll down, I and mean, you can fit more on the screen. What results in better productivity and a better viewing experience? The next biggest physical difference is going to be the power button. With the iPhone 5S, of course the button is up on top, just like how all the other iPhones have been. But now, Apple is supposedly putting it on the right hand side. So you can see here that the, both of them are going to have the SIM card, but the iPhone 6 has the home button right there. And this only makes sense because with the iPhone being a lot bigger, it's a lot harder to go reach all the way up on top, especially if you're from, from here, so you can't even come close to it from how you normally grip it. So it makes sense to put it on the side. The next difference is the back. This is a little bit different of a setup with the cameras and the LEDs. The camera is supposed to be protruding out and then it's not gonna be flush like the iPhone 5S and 5 were. So right there, there's no bump, you can't feel anything, but you can tell right here, there is. Another supposedly difference is the iPhone 6 is supposed to have an Apple logo that lights up, just like the MacBook Pro or anything like that, like your laptop. The iPhone 5S and 5, of course, do not. Another subtle difference with the iPhone 6 is there's going to be a little accent colored from here. And the, the iPhone 5S does not. And it also comes down below, too, and around. I think that looks pretty cool, and especially with black, I think that's going to look really sleek. Other than those couple of different changes for the iPhone 6, the iPhone 5S, there's really not going to be that any other hardware differences. Mostly it's just going to be the screen size and how fast it's going to be and with the new iOS. But you could also get that for the iPhone 5S and 5 as well. Well, that's it for the iPhone 6 versus iPhone 5S comparison. I will be getting the real iPhone 6 when it's announced from Apple in September. So make sure you look out for those videos. I'm going to have tons of comparisons, the drop test, uh, giveaway, so make sure you subscribe and you got tons more content coming your way. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one and this is JR Production X signing off. Peace.